Hello everybody, today's video is going to be going over the Glock OEM uh, G19X magazine rebuild kit. Uh, so this is in Coyote, not to be confused with Glock's FDE, uh, but this is what does come factory with the Glock 19X and uh, I believe typically you get two of the 19 round ones and then this is the 17 round one you get. Uh, and this can be used in all double stack uh, Glock 9mm handguns, uh, including the 19 and 26 and Oh, maybe five other models that I don't know off the top of my head. So um, this is what you receive in magazine rebuild kit. Uh, this is the body right here, and it's got a, a steel lining on the inside, and that really helps with durability and reliability. And then you've got the spring with the follower attached, and then this little locking plate, and then the base plate. So when it comes time to uh, reassemble these uh, after you're done making your repairs to your grandfathered in magazines or because you're in a state that allows you to do so, uh, this follower is very simple to insert into here and you know it's got this slant to it that's going to line up with the magazine body so you can't really put it in incorrectly. So go ahead and slide that in and then take this uh, locking plate and it's got a little uh, circular tab on it that's gonna be facing up and then it's also going to correspond um, with the, it's got a little couple cutouts that um, line up with the magazine body. So I'll go ahead and depress the spring with that right there. And then take your base plate, which has an open side and kind of a closed off side. So the open side is gonna slide on from the front of the magazine. And then the way that these OEM uh, Glock magazines are held together are these two locking tabs on the sides of them. So you just need to slide the base plate over those. Uh, and it takes a little bit of force, but you're not gonna hurt anything. So just go ahead and slide it over, and then it's all gonna click into place. And you can see that this little locking plate, plate is uh, flush with the base plate. So uh, when you are wanting to disassemble these uh, to use the parts or when you need to make your repair, um, it's very simple. We use a couple of tools here uh, just since we do do quite a few of these and it helps uh, with the disassembly process. Um, so you get a little punch and you need to depress this uh, locking plate. And so just put your punch in there and you'll probably feel a little click, uh, but just make sure that it's no longer flush with that and then that hole is kind of open and, and clear. Uh, so we also use this uh, Milwaukee uh, torque lock and this helps us depress the little plates or little side locking tabs that we talked about earlier. Uh, you can do it by hand but it takes a little bit of force and if you do decide to use a tool like this or pliers or you know, whatever else you might think of, just know that you can crack the body so uh, don't don't torque down on it too hard. It really doesn't take all that much pressure. Um, so, you know, be cautious there. So go ahead and clamp that on there and then use something to, you know, put in this hole to get a little bit of leverage and then begin sliding it off. And once you get it past the little locking plates right here, it's very simple and easy to slide off. And there you go, that is uh, the body the spring and follower, and then the locking plate and the base plate. So thank you very much for watching this video on the Glock OEM G19X uh, magazine rebuild kit.